Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So last time we made a video on pixel experience based on Android version 10 for Poco F1 and things were getting smoother. But this time it's all about Oxygen OS that is based on Android version 11. It's the direct port from OnePlus 8. So let us divide this video into three parts, starting from the quick installation steps, then a detailed review and at the end we will notify about the bugs present in this room so that you can get a quick idea on whether this room is suitable for the daily usage. So without further ado, let's get started. To install this ROM, basically the bootloader must be unlocked with custom TWRP recovery installed. If you haven't unlocked your phone yet, then do not perform the other steps. If you want a separate video on how to unlock bootloader, let us know in the comment section. Next, download 3 necessary files, the TWRP recovery by OF Gang, the firmware and the ROM file of Oxygen OS. All these files can be downloaded from link in description. You can use SD card or store these files in internal storage on your POCO F1. Make sure the device has at least 50% charge to start with. Please note, if your phone is encrypted, then decrypt it using zip provided in the link. If you want a dedicated video on how to decrypt, let us know in the comment section. Next, go to TWRP recovery, flash the TWRP recovery by OF gang by selecting recovery option and again boot to the recovery. Next, perform a format by checking Delvi cache, system, vendor, then flash the firmware file and Oxygen OS ROM file. Once the flash is successfully done, boot into system to enjoy the beautiful boot animation of OnePlus on your POCO F1. Now speaking about the performance, it feels really smooth and animations are excellent. Those who are coming from Pixel Experience would definitely love the animations on this ROM. If we compare it directly with other popular ROMs like Pixel, it is heavy. I did not find any lag so far and it feels buttery smooth. Here is the benchmark score for your reference so that you can get a quick idea on the performance. Moving to gaming, I have tested games like COD Mobile Asphalt 9 and it handled pretty well. It also got that gaming mode and we have a native screen recorder app that can record both internal as well as external audio. Moving to battery, initially I did not find a major difference in terms of battery. But as day passed, I felt like it's draining up more as compared to MIUI and Pixel Experience. This may be due to the animations, live wallpapers, horizon light and the ROM which is still in beta mode. So if battery is your highest priority, then I don't really recommend this ROM for you. Moving to customization, there are a bunch of them to enjoy, like we have a variety of live wallpapers to choose from, there are also option to change the style of ambient display, and for notifications, we have a beautiful horizon light that looks super cool. We can change the icon pack without using any third party launcher. In terms of looks, this ROM is very much attractive and clean. Now moving to security, it's not that secure as compared to the Pixel experience, but this room passes the security check so that you could use the banking apps without any use of magic hide. So let us talk about the bugs. If you want to install this room on your device, please note this is in beta. So there are some issues like IR face ID that does not work for the time and it's just a camera that handles the face unlock that might be fixed in future updates. Next up, we have issues with the native banking apps like SBI Yono that does not work on this ROM and rest other UPI apps works without any issues. If you are using the phone with apps like Snapchat with heavy filters, phone restarts for no reason. And the last one is battery backup that is not that good on this ROM. If you want to install or check the availability of this ROM, link in description. And also special thanks for the developers for making this amazing ROM. If you have any queries regarding the installation or about this ROM, let us know in the comment section or you can DM us on Instagram. So don't forget to give a thumbs up, share with your family friends and hit that subscribe button. So thanks for watching. This is Aditya from Android and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.